It is so frequent to hear divorces in marriages nowadays. I met with someone who was a divorcee that said to me that she tried to make her relationship work, but it just seems difficult. So she gave up. A lot of persons have jumped from one seminar to another, looking for the answer, but this is where the missing link is in. Sometimes we think love flows when we put each other first, but let's always remember and never forget that marriage was created and initiated by God Himself, so whatever ingredients are required for it to work as God planned it. God is the only one that has the final say. This is above what you feel or do not feel. Think of it. Why have there been always strikes and fightings in your relationship with that person? You have tried all the principles you learned from the marriage seminars, but the fights keep repeating themselves in circles and now you feel like giving up on that relationship. Maybe it is because you have been trying to make this relationship work and you are trying to love your spouse by your willpower and again. Your ego arose and you could not hold yourself back when your couple responded, not according to how you wanted them to. It might be on a minor issue, and that fight started that seems like a strong fence. It is because you never did the one thing and you have been focusing on another, unnecessary thing, but the one thing you never focused, which is putting God first. When putting God first is being heard by many people, they always narrow it down to our relationship with God alone. But God wants you to put Him first, and He is saying that He will be the one that will intoxicate your relationship with love. God is supposed to be your Master and Lord, so the very reason for any division of any kind is tied to not putting God first. God promises in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. That if you can do this one thing, whatever you desire will be sorted out. Love is from God. God is love, and the totality and personality of love are God. The love required for marriage and relationship work comes from God himself, which means that it is only God that makes both of you love each other. Love is a fruit from God. It works as God is kept first in your life and relationship. When we become self-focused on ourselves in marriage, we will draw all our strength from ourselves because we do not understand we are not perfect in our behavior and sometimes we are on the bridge of being tempted to show what we are made and it always ends up in delusion. When we step back, and no longer see ourselves as the source of love in our relationship with our spouse, but God as our source of love. The love will effortlessly spring out from us. There is an instruction that is given to us by God in His Word. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 25 says, Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave Himself for it. The model of love is not ourselves, but on how Christ loved the church. This is why you should put God first in your relationship, because only Him can teach both of you how to love each other. That is why devotion should not just be for the woman and the man lying inside the room sleeping during morning devotion. Even as the head of the house, he should model faith to the home and put God first. The psalmists say, Early will I seek Him, which means the first on your list in the morning when in your home should be God first before anything. Both of you should begin to build a vibrant relationship with God. This is what you need to resolve a marriage or relationship that is about to break away because of the lack of love and commitment. When you put God first, you will not be found waiting for the other spouse to first apologize before you forgive them. When we build a vibrant relationship with God as a family, there will be fewer breakups in homes. Acts chapter 4 verse 13 says, Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled, and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. 
Both of you should have times where you spend time with God, praying together and studying and going to God's house together. There is a supply of freshness that God crowns a relationship with when they put Him first in their lives, that when you keep looking each other, you keep seeing the goodness of Him, or, and as if your eye is not open, to see their faults at the time. Draw your satisfaction from God, not yourselves. Putting God first is involved and is founded on obeying His word. When God's word speaks to you and your spouse, do both of you agree to what God says in His word above your opinions, your reasoning, and culture? Because if you do, then when God tells the husband to love his wives, God never said only when she is perfect and does everything right. And also when God tells the wife to submit to her husband, and he did not say when your husband loves you, your love for your wife is supposed as God loves, which is unconditional, undeserving, and unmerited. This is what it means to put God first, which is putting his word first above your opinion. God is saying to you, I know the number of sleepless nights you have gone through, and the times of depression where you just felt like giving up on this marriage. But he's saying, if you can do what I say in my word and never put yourself first, let God take the front seat in your relationships. All you're trying to mending has never worked. Why do you just submit it to God himself? Let him beautify your marriage and crown it with beauty. There are so many things that clamor for our attention and devotion, our jobs, our kids, our spouses, our hobbies, the demands and distractions of life. And we have to be careful not to let them become more important or more of a priority than our relationship with God. Even one of the commandments of God is to not have another God, even both of you should not be your idols. Sanctify God in your heart, and that is why God tells you to cast this burden of making your relationship work and loving each other to Him. Let him supply his love in your marriage. 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 7 says, Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Another way we should show that we are putting God first in our life is to let God into every area of our life. When we talk about letting God into every area of our life, it means to serve God. Both of you should serve God and give your life. When you decide to serve God with your whole heart and make Him first in your life, your soul will prosper and your joy and peace will increase. Remember to lean on Him more than anything else and tell Him, God, I want to do this, but I can't do it without you. He doesn't expect you to live for Him in your strength or ability, and He understands when you make mistakes. Life is time. The time you use in the majority for someone or something is where your life is. Anytime both of you are tempted again to get angry at each other, why don't you just search something about do? Maybe just tell your spouse, Honey, can we just pray about this and that or can we just go out to win souls for Jesus? When both of you begin to take the burden off yourselves and take God business as your own business, you will find out there is this refreshing that will come from within and then God speaks to you to maybe at some points in the relationship to be patient. Maybe a day comes that your spouse comes from work tired and begins to react angrily. God might speak to you to just calm down and just ask him what went wrong in the office and later you found out that it might just be stress. You put God first by yielding to His leading every time and every day for your spouse. The key to God's abundance in your home is putting Him first as your priority. You will find that you will forgive your spouse more because now you know God has forgiven you freely and God is merciful to you. You will love your spouse effortlessly because you are motivated by the love of God and you will not judge them by your perception or by what you see, but you will judge in love and correct them from the heart of love. When you put God first, God will be in charge of your home and He will make sure that your life 
is surrounded by coincidences where you see every reason to love your spouse.